everybody and welcome back to my series DIY Disney. Today I'm going to show you how to make two different hair clip styles that are inspired by Disney characters. They are easy to make and you probably already have all the supplies that you need. The first hair clip is Mickey inspired so you need three circle buttons, a hair clip, and some ribbon along with the glue of your choice. I'm using E6000 because it's what was handy. I squirted some of the glue onto a piece of cardstock and used the back end of a cheap paintbrush to apply it so I have more control. Open the clip and put a little glue on the inside of one side covering about a quarter inch. Then place your ribbon on the glue. Next, cover the top side of the clip with glue and press the ribbon to adhere. Continue along until the ribbon is wrapped around the end. Then trim the excess ribbon and glue it onto the bottom side of the clip. Set that aside to dry and we will start on our Mickey face. Stack your buttons as shown, then remove the largest and apply glue to the two buttons remaining. Set the large button back into place and slide a spare button underneath so it keeps the large button level while it dries. Once everything is dried, decide how you want your Mickey to be placed on the clip, apply glue, and press into place. Once the glue is dry, your Mickey hair clip is ready to wear. Now on to the second style inspired by the movie Tangled. For this style I used a larger barrette and some ribbon that reminded me of Rapunzel's dress. I used the same glue as before to adhere the ribbon into place covering the entire top of the barrette and wrapping around the edges. Then, pick some buttons from your stash that remind you of the movie. In my case, I chose two flowers and a heart. The flowers are both shank buttons, so I will be strategically placing them on my brett. For the largest, I placed it so the shank on the back rests along the top edge of the brett, and the bottom half of the flower is glued right onto the ribbon. I let that dry for a few minutes, then placed the second flower so it is resting on the first and the shank is glued directly to the ribbon. Make sure you are putting glue on any part of your buttons that come in contact with either another button or the bread itself so there are multiple connect points keeping everything sturdy. For the heart, I applied glue and slid it in place under the small flower. Once the glue dried, it was done. I love how these hair clips turned out and they are such a great subtle way to show your Disney side. If you want to see more of my DIY Disney videos, make sure to check out the playlist linked in the upper corner of the video and the information icon. I do post a new video every single Wednesday, so subscribe and check back next week and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!